Well, learning about science, it could be fun. As you know, Mr. C is here to show you how it's all done. It's great to have you back. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. And we actually have a fun little activity in store for everybody today. So we're going to be doing something called elephant toothpaste. Okay. Well, that sounds messy, hence why I'm already starting to put on the gloves here. You think... Uh, you should put yours on too. Yeah, I probably should. So what we're going to do actually is, this is um, an experiment that you can do at home with some very simple um, things at home. And we're going to show you that at the end. But what we're doing is we're taking hydrogen peroxide that everybody has at their house, right? Of course. So typically we use hydrogen peroxide. If we have a cut, we spray it on, it bubbles up, and then we're like, oh, it's And then the algae is gone. Yeah, so it doesn't really break down bacteria as much as we like, but it can help dislodge a couple of things. So what we have in here is we have, this is 3%. Um, hydrogen peroxide, and I have 6% in here, and I have 12%, 12%, and then we have 35%, because it does something really special as we get um, higher concentration. So All what right. we're going to do is, hydrogen peroxide breaks down naturally over time, and so what it is is H2O2, so two hydrogen atoms, two oxygen atoms, and basically it wants to release the oxygen, and then we have water that's left over. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I have um, a solution here that I want you to actually pour into this graduated cylinder. I'm going to stir it up. And what we did right before, there we go, making a big mess already. I squirted some soap, Mr. C soap. Yes, of course. Your favorite. I'm waiting for the day. Uh, I was just thinking like when you actually have your own hairspray as well. Since you, it is hair raising science, I feel like you need to have your own hairspray too. No? Okay. Trademark. Trademark that one. You. Okay. So go ahead and pour that in and let's see what happens. So that's 6% and this is what you can do at home. Um, pour that in and then back off and we're going to watch it do something. Yes, yeah, it's going to start foaming up. Okay, so that's 6%. And what we want to do now is we have the same exact solution here. And we're going to pour it in. And this is our 12%. So the reaction actually is a little more intense, right? Okay. So we see that happen. Now what's really cool... It's about, um, the real get, it's, it's about to get real weird. Yeah, exactly. All right. So what's happening... Actually, go ahead and touch that. I don't know if you can feel it. Describe that to the audience for us. Is it a little uh, it's warm? warm, yeah. Yeah, so it's an exothermic reaction. It's actually giving off heat as it's producing. And those little bubbles that we have there, those are oxygen. That's oxygen being captured in the soap, and that's why we put the soap in it. So I'm going to pour this one really quick. We're going to let that go. Okay. And so those two are the same, right? So the reaction should be kind of the same. This is a great thing you can do during Halloween. You can have some fun at the house. Um, and what's really neat is you can vary the amount of um, hydrogen peroxide, the different percentages to see what's happening. So we have these colors, but I want you to pour this guy. All right, we have about 20 seconds left here, oh, so I want to make perfect. sure that we have... This wait, where am I going with it? We're going to put it into that. All right. Voila. And we're hoping, we're hoping it goes nice and big. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's fast. And so that container, and we're going to make a mess. That's okay. That's okay. That's oh, okay. yeah. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a real mess here. Hey, <laughs> and... This one's really warm. It's really warm. <laughs> it's giving off lots of oxygen. I probably oxygen. shouldn't be touching that. No, it's okay. that's why we're wearing gloves. That's why we're wearing gloves. And as you can see here, it's warm. It's exothermic. It actually is giving off quite a bit of heat, which is really cool.